Are you tired of seeing the same headers and footers throughout your WooCommerce store because you're being shackled by your theme? Well, it's time to change all that because now you can create custom headers and footers and set different headers and footers for different pages of your WooCommerce store, all thanks to product text. Not just that, you can even create your own customized 404 page not font page. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, make sure that you have the product text plugin installed and activated on your site. Now, from your WooCommerce dashboard, go to the WooCommerce Builder section of Product Text. From here, you can create entire pages of your store with just one click. But we're going to be focusing on the header, footer, and the 404 page not found page. So let's create a header first. Click on Add Header. You can create a header from scratch. Or you can just import one of the premade templates. Just select which template suits you the best and click on the import button. Once you're in, you can further customize the header according to your preference. You're not restricted to this. You can change the icon, the search bar. You can even add more blocks if you like to. Once you're done, click on the publish button. Now we have to set conditions. This is where things get interesting. You can decide where this exact header will go. You can have it for an entire site or you can select specific archive pages or single product page that you want this header to be in. And that's how you can have different headers and footers for different pages of your WooCommerce store with the help of these conditions. Once you're done, click on the save button. Then click on the update button and your header is now ready. Now let's look at the footer. Once again, you can just import it with just one click. Just like the header, once you're done customizing it, click on the publish, set the condition, and click on update button. Finally, we have the 404 page not found page. The procedure is still the same. Select the template that you like and click on the import button. The 404 page, by the way, has no conditions. So once you set it, it's gonna be same throughout the website. But you can customize it, of course. You can have a different image. You can add a button. You can add your favorite product text blocks if you want to or, or any of the Gutenberg blocks, to be honest. Then click on publish and that's it. Now let's see how a page looks in the front end. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming content and we have some exciting features coming your way. Stay tuned with Product Techs.